This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm trapped in a movie theater, and it's at least given me the chance to see His Girl Friday, a comedy from Howard Hawks released back in 1940 that tackles the ever prestigious role of the journalist, or at least the journalist in the days of the everyday quest for a front page scoop. The movie follows soon-to-be-married journalist Hildy Johnson on her last day in the office, much to the dismay of her boss and ex-husband, Walter Burns. Amidst their quarrel as he tries to keep her from leaving, the two become caught up in the greatest local story of the week, the upcoming execution of an accused murderer and his persistence about his innocence. The movie isn't simply about their on-and-off romance, though. There's a great amount of quick-witted satire throughout the film, generally at the expense of the journalists who are willing to bend the truth in favor of a good write-up. At several points within the film's rapid-fire dialogue, members of the press spout off various bylines about ongoing events just outside their window, with dramatically different and often inaccurate points of view each in themselves making for a captivating story, but a clear example of how getting that story is all that it's about. This idea is punctuated by more dramatic scenes with an acquaintance of the accused man who has been portrayed in the press as his lover and subsequently is ignored by those journalists as she demands a retraction. It definitely brings the fast pacing of the film's dialogue and action to a halt, and reminds the audience that this movie isn't all fun and games. That said, His Girl Friday is mostly fun and games, even in the later parts of the film when the stakes continue to rise, due almost entirely in part to the story of Hildy and Walter, which very nearly exists outside of the other ongoing drama. Their conflict and relationship is made apparent from the very start of the film, and only continues to evolve as Walter tries to keep Hildy from leaving her job, even going as far to have her new fiancé framed and arrested for various crimes. The chemistry between the two is electric, with a very high energy from Rosalind Russell as Hildy, who is confident about her new turn in life but can't resist the thrill of the newsroom and her journalistic itch. Cary Grant, as Walter, also comes through with a sharp tongue in mind, incidentally a far cry from how he came off in Bringing Up Baby. Anyways, he and Russell are excellent in their individual scenes away from each other, but the screen lights up when they're together, snipping at each other in fast back-and-forth dialogue, never pulling any punches while still being able to show some sort of professional respect for each other. Even if this is the first time we've met them, we can tell that they have history. Overall, His Girl Friday is a fun film that is able to balance a romantic storyline between two people with an event that eclipses their troubles, putting them in a position that forces them to ignore their conflict and make them focus on what they truly want to do, which in this case is to be journalists. And the film is further able to balance this with a good amount of satire and comedy, which illustrates the other side of this. When the stakes overwhelm them and the two end up falling in way over their heads. As it turns out, despite their fighting, they have no choice but to rely on each other to make it out unscathed even if it means having to call off a few travel plans or call in a few favors. His Girl Friday, Howard Hawks, 1940. Four and a half stars. I recommend seeing it. That's it for the review. Leave a like if you liked it, and leave a comment if you didn't. Subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews like this in the future. Also, if you have any idea why the movie is called His Girl Friday, then please do tell. There's nobody in the movie named Friday.
I don't even think it takes place on a Friday. 